Yeah. All right, Caitlin. Caitlin, what's up? How you been? Um, I'm okay. Uh, stuff's still getting stolen though. Um, but the other day I bought a tent. It was an expensive tent, but I managed to get it. And then uh, about a month, a month ago, we got uh, this dog, Bowser. Bowser, say hi, say hi. Where'd you get him from? <laughs> um, some Negro came and he was like all frantic. As you can see, the Negro wasn't taking care of him. He's all bony. And shit. This hip right here is all up in his front leg too. Um, I think he was abusing the fuck out of him. Cause when he had brought him up, like he was so frantic, like like everything was blacked out. He wouldn't even drink water. Like he's like, you know, and I don't know what what that negro did or what if he took him because i can tell he's like used to being in um a house he's not used to being out here with the cars that or the negro can push him in the street or something because he he limps on his hips sometimes and it it bothers the out of him um and he he eats like no other dude he i feed him all this, i feed him and his brother milo three times a day Milo's so probably you have a little. Two dogs out here? Yeah, okay. I got blessed with Milo at the car wash down over there by Arco first, and I got him a day after. He's probably two or three, but Milo's under a year. He's still teething. He's barely getting all his adult teeth, but he's uh some some kind of terrier. He's all white with black spots like a Dalmatian, and then his ears are all both ears are black, but it's got like golden brown dots right here. Um, they get along very well, but, so I'm happy about that. Um, this one, we took him to the house we were staying down, down the street, and, uh, the guy, the guy was like, you gotta get rid of these dogs, and he would not get up out of the room for shit, dude. I had to get the owner to literally drag him out, because we were leaving that day anyways, and, uh, the owner's like, you gotta, gotta let him go, so he took the leash off of him, you know? And, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to touch the mic. <laughs> um, so it took the leash off of him, and we were walking down the alley towards uh, Salzitas, and I turned around, and I see him, you know, just going back to the alley. And I started walking, and the next thing you know, I, halfway to Salzitas, he didn't even know what street I turned down. He was still following me without the leash. And then I looked at him, I was like, okay, I can't get rid of you. You know, like, that's... He showed right there, like, loyalty, you know? Yeah. So where um, do you feed them out here? Do you feed them human well, food or dog food? Both. I need I need more dog food because dog food I have, they won't touch. I don't know why. But they won't touch it, and they ate all their other yeah. dog food. But last night he had two hot and spices and a cheeseburger. That's how the dogs are. Once you get them used to eating human food, they won't go back to well, dog food. No, because they were eating... They're still eating both. Like, it's the type of dog food I have they won't touch. Because they'll eat the dog food for nothing. And they're both boys, too. Um, and they both eat grass, like cows. I don't know why. I think that's good for the stomach. I heard it's because they, uh, most likely it's because their stomach's bothering them or something. Yeah. And he howls. He howls, yeah. Huh, Browser? You howl? You talk? His eyes are so beautiful, it matches his coat. So does he stay inside the tent with you? Yeah. Both the dogs do. So we're trying to potty train the other does one. Does he bark at night? Like when people get close? Um, yeah. Like, he'll bark at people he think are shady, you know? He gets a bad by. vibe off of yeah. or something. I could tell he's protective though. Cause when he first saw me, he but was, he's like, like he was a, real cautious. Yeah, he's. But now he's real relaxed. He's a no, sissy he's Lala really, though. Not a bad guy, huh? No, he's loving. If anything, he'll run from you first before, you know. Yeah. And then, like that's the other one is very aggressive, dude. So what happened with the city of Phoenix earlier? They came and kicked um, everybody out of here. Yeah, and then, so City of Phoenix came through, kicked us out. Um, actually, they didn't even tell us.
The cops just pulled up about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. And um, we were like, oh, shit. I mean, my dude got a warrant. My dude, if he goes, gets arrested again, I, I said that he doesn't get another chance, gets deported. So we got to be careful. Have the papers? Uh, he did, but he's got to renew it, and it, that costs thousands of dollars that we don't oh. have right now. So he had his green card and let it expire? Yeah. Okay. It expired recently. Um, oh, yeah, it sucks. Get that taken care of because but like his mom and his dad like if we really need help we can call them and he sends them a hundred dollars but like when we take it out it takes twenty dollars away so his parents are out here no his Phoenix? parents are in california with his son okay. yeah you guys go out there would they give you like a, a he had yeah or? he has his parents live in a two-story house he has his own truck out there everything but his stupid ass baby mama yeah. Did she stay out there with her parents or with her uh, parents? No, she has her own place, but she, she, her cousins are cholos, so oh, right. like they had a lot of drama going on. She like started saying like his son wasn't his, so he fucking put the bitch to court, and they took a DNA test. That was his son. What city in California are they in? Uh, I'm not too sure. Is not it really northern sure. Northern or Southern California? You don't know. Is it close uh, to LA? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, you should just tell your dude, hey man, let's go back to California. He wants to. I'm the one holding him back because I'm not mentally ready to get Why off not? of blues. Oh man. I mean, I've tried going to rehab three times with him. It's just. You don't want to have a like an apartment or a house or anything I like do. that. I do. I do. It's just. It's There's harder than it said. Right I know. It's it's harder. You know. It's easier said than done. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We all have our addictions, whether it's lottery tickets, watching TV, you know? Yeah. That's, you can't get rid of that shit. Or well, when, when do you think you're going to be ready, though? I think it's coming soon. I know that. I'm getting tired of it. Like, four years later, you know? And it wasn't my fault. I was in CPS. You know, CPS kicked me out to the streets when I turned 18, illegal adult. How did you end up in the beginning? In CPS? Uh, At what age? God, uh, eight. My dad raped him. Well, I've been in CPS and now since I was a baby, actually, my aunt told me. Um, but mainly I remember since I was eight when my dad raped and molested me and my mom's been in 13 year domestic violence relationship. So. Yeah. What about your mom? She wasn't there taking care of you? alcoholic and domestic violence relationship. Do you know any other people in like your family? Like no. your, your dad's side of the family, mom's side of the family, like your grandma, They're all grandma. crazy on my dad's side. My mom, my mom's side, they don't want nothing to do with me either. Why is that? Is that because of? Cause like they, they don't like my mom. Or? Cause my aunt, my mom, are just biological sister, my dad and my uncle are biological brothers. So it's really hard. What was that? <laughs> my mom and my aunt are biological sisters. My uncle and my my biological dad are brothers. Okay. And it's also hard to see because like they both look similar, like my mom and dad. Especially seeing my uncle looking like my dad and what he did to me, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's and then being like home, stuck at home alone with him like it's so uncomfortable i would cry seeing my aunt leave knowing that she'd be back but still it's just what happened to your dad when that happened did he go to jail oh yeah go to prison? i had to do a trial against him how long did he get in prison i'm not too sure my aunt didn't tell me okay. i know they were getting notified uh monthly from las vegas nevada courts about my dad and where he's been if he's locked up oh so that's where you're originally from uh las vegas? I've been everywhere. I've been in California. So that's where you were born out there? In no, I was or? I was born in Elgin, Illinois at St. Joseph's. Okay. And then they moved you out there to Las Vegas? Yeah, when I was a baby, we moved to Arizona. Then me and my mom, around when I was like eight, we were in Las Vegas, Nevada, Lake Havasu, uh, Long Beach, California. And now I'm here since so I was, around. yeah, I've been. So your dad's still in prison right now? 
I have no idea. Last time I heard, he was on the mo news for killing someone. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Makes me feel like, you know, like, damn, that's my dad. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not psychotic like that, but like, you know what I'm saying? Do you have any brothers and sisters? On my dad's side, I was like, last I seen, he had them lined up on a shelf. I have like 22 half brothers and sisters. And on my mom's side, I have a half brother who's like 27, 28. Do you get along with any of them? Uh, I've never met uh, any of them on my dad's side. On my mom's side, yeah, but I haven't gotten in contact with my brother recently. How's he doing? Is he doing good? Or is he oh yeah, he's a car mechanic. He makes forty-eight dollars an hour, dude. He's he all he does is work. <laughs> he loves cars. Yeah. What about like grandma and grandpa? On, uh, uh, my side, grandpa, my, on my mom's side, my grandpa died recently, like two or three years ago. I found that out on Facebook. Yeah. So that was like finding it out on Facebook, not being able to go to the funeral. Um, on my dad's side, my grandpa's been dead since I was a baby, baby, baby. Real good man, I was told. But um, my crazy grandma just recently died three years ago, uh, a few days before my birthday in October, which she's like local. Like she, after I did the trial with my dad, her and my aunt Candy literally followed us from the courts all the way to the airport. And then I had like six tall black men surrounded me because you know, they literally followed us and they waited two hours. And she's like halfway out the car yelling, oh, you liar, da, 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 da. Oh, so An eight year old is not gonna fucking lie. Yeah, that's sad, man. And I, I had a feeling in the car, I told my aunt, like they're following us, you know, and I couldn't really see the car because of the fucking lights. But I just, I just knew it and sure enough, came were. So what are your hopes and dreams? Do you have any? To get off the streets right now. <laughs> Long term. Long term? I hope I become something in the long run. Cosmetology, dermatology, veterinarian, something. I had four credits left to get my diploma. I don't want to get my GED. I feel like it's a cop out. Something better than nothing though. Yeah, I'm getting to that point because once I'm 22, I can't go back to high school. How old are you now? 21. You're really young, man. No, I just turned 22, actually. Yeah. Been out here since I was 18. Been in it, in and out of the street since I was 15, though. You have a long road ahead of you. Yeah. Hopefully it gets better. It will. You just have to want it. You know? You just have to change. It's hard with no support, though. No family. Sometimes you just got to be like, you know what? I'm just going to do it for myself. I'm going to do it because of me. All right. Hey, man. Thank you for this update. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Are you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Of course. And at least case, you check in with me. And just in case anybody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations. Let them know. Let them contact I know, you. I don't know if you gave me a contact information, but I'd rather do it that way so they could contact you directly because I get a bunch of emails and messages. And yeah. I get like a lot I of don't have a phone. I don't messages, have a phone. I don't even check it anymore. You know? Really? So, that's why I, I always ask everybody like if they want to give out their own email or um I don't have a Facebook phone or email or right now. Like I gotta get a phone. Um I know on the T Mobile app I just discovered um I can sign up and get a phone for only like twenty dollars due to free phone and it gets shipped within two days. So I don't know. I have to figure something out but I don't know where to ship it. Have it shipped to Cass. There's a daredevil down there. What do you, you mean? Know how, you know how scary it is down there? Just go and grab it and then... It's scary in these streets right here. 
No, cast is more worse. They fuck out of you and will make you walk through the zone butt ass naked if they find out you steal. People light tents on fire while you're in it and asleep. It's fucking yeah, crazy. It's, crazy it's worse than it is out right here. Well, you're just passing by, you know? Just grab your phone and go. Mm -hmm. True. All right, well, if you do come up with any contact info, just let me know. I will. All Sorry, right. I'm tired. That's fine. All right. Thank you for the update. You're Appreciate welcome. It.